Oh yeah. Like the ocean. Yeah. yeah. With your <laughs> my teacher me party favors. Oh my god, looks like, so cool. It is so cool. We're so ready right now. It's gonna be nice. Gorgeous. Look at the flowers just falling. So everybody's in the restroom right now, but we're with the pro. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take really good photos. We're gonna get some um, some bottles of wine and we're gonna just hang out. Right now they have a live band. Um, they're on break right now and then we're gonna get that. But everybody is hanging out right now it looks beautiful dude sad you fit the vibe like seriously And we're at Signor. <laughs> we're at Signor Vineyards out in Fredericksburg, Texas. Celebrating and this one. Hi. And our birthday. We have all my cousins are here, and um, there's a live band right now. We're gonna go to a tasting room, and we're gonna try out some different wines. We brought, we got some bottles, um, and then we're just gonna explore the area. So come and take a look.
85% Cabernet Sauvignon, 16% Sangiovese. It's spicy. Ooh. So the Syrah is a peppery grape and it's kind of spicy. And so is, so is Sangiovese. And then the uh, Cab has cherry juice, kind of stewed cherry. Kind of cherry. Kind of it's Ooh. nice. They say pair it with the, with the barbecue. I think they mean it's kind of sweet for because of the spiciness. Oh, okay. It's quite a bit spicy with something sweeter. Uh -huh. Oh. Like maybe a yeah, sweet curry. Look, we have to establish that day drinking is the best. Yes, as a mom especially. Yes! <laughs> hey. I know nothing about wine, I just know it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Cabernet Sauvignon, the offspring is the deeper, heavier, more tannic. So that's the structure of this wine, and then Cap Franc comes in on the nose and the finish. A little bit of spice and blackberry on the nose. Ooh. It's good. Very well. Oh, oh my so god, that really, looks really good. Good. Thank you so much. This is Petit Syrah. It's a blending grape. This is an estate wine grown on property. It's a thick skinned earthy grape. Um, you might get some black fruit on it, a little bit of smokiness. It's also used as a blending grape. It has a short finish, so that tells you it's a good blender. You put it in a wine where there's a nice start and a nice finish. It doesn't interfere. It kind of binds it together. So I'm going to give you a little bit here. Butter taste. <laughs> oh man, I think this has to be my favorite out of the reds. It's subtle. It's black cherry. Black cherry yeah. that we're supposed to taste. And but it's not like overwhelming. Thank you to Amy who was pouring our wine and giving us all that information about it. We learned so much and we had so much fun. Thank you! Bye! Bye.